Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and in today's video we are going to be talking about the breaking news uh, that being Brighton have submitted a formal bid uh, for Odson Edward. Uh, but before we do get into the video and discuss all this guys please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Scottish football content. Okay, guys, so here we have it. Odson Edward um, has finally had a bid. As I said, we've been reporting on Odson Edward here on the channel for ages now, since the start of the window. He's been linked with moves away for ages, and this might be the end of that story. Um, as today, apparently, Brighton have submitted a £21.5 million pound bid uh, to Celtic for Odson Edward, which I've got so much stuff to say about it. Celtic board, in terms of selling players... All right, like have to be applauded. Like I don't know how they're doing it. They're just pulling it out of the bag. This is um, this would then go as the second biggest sell in say uh, Celtic's history. Which for Odson Edward, you know, he's a great, great player. Everybody knows that, but he's in his last year of his contract. So that's the applaudable part about it. We've seen at the start of the week that uh, Christopher Ayer. Uh, went for £14 million, where he was another player who had been linked with a move from Celtic from the start of the transfer window. However, um, people are all talking like, oh, look, I is going to have to go for six or seven million pounds. And I've seen Celtic fans in the forums and on Twitter, you know, happy with a fee like that just to get anything. And they just didn't want to lose him on a free. Um, but then the breaking news hit that Brentford had submitted a £13.5 million bid. Everyone was like, wow, how? Um, and yeah, I'm one of those people. I was like, in the last year of the contract, that's really, really good going. Um, and then, of course, Odson Edouard, another player who'd been linked with a move away for the whole transfer window. Um, and now he could be going for £21.5 million pounds, um, in his last year of his contract, which is, is just such a, um, an amazing deal. It really is. Whoever's dealing with themselves at the top, you know, probably should get a pay rise because, uh, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't seen anybody do that in Scottish football. So guys, let's talk about Odson Edward anyway. Of course, as I said earlier, he has been linked uh, with a move away since, I think, last summer. I think uh, the talk was um, keeping Odson Edward at Celtic for um, another year to try and win 10 in a row. Obviously, that didn't happen. Um, and then basically, uh, ever since the start of the window, he's been linked with a move away. The, the, the big names that were always coming up was Arsenal and Leicester. Um, and then more notably Leicester as the weeks progressed. And it almost seemed... Uh, very likely at the time, a few weeks ago, nearly a month ago now, that Leicester were going to um, do a deal for Odson Edward in the region of around £14 million. Which, again, I've seen a lot of Celtic fans happy with that fee because he was in his last year of his contract. Um, and then, basically, uh, they signed Dakar from RB Salzburg. And then that kind of deal went in, like, was dead in the water after that. And, basically, um, Odson Edward was literally left in limbo. He, he joined back up with the Celtic team, uh, played against Michelin on last Tuesday. Um, and, yeah, there was nothing for Odson Edward. There was no links. There was no talks about him moving on. Um, I couldn't find anything. I do a transfer roundup every single week, and I couldn't find anything on Odson Edward until the start of the week came. Um, and it was the talk of Brighton that they were heavily interested and wanted Odson Edward as a player. And then, of course, getting up today, um, you know, I wasn't going to do a video. And then I seen um, it come up that uh, Brighton have made a formal bid at £21.5 million. So this deal, whether Celtic do accept it or not, which I presume they will accept it because that is a lot of money for a player who, one, wants away and two, is in his last year of his deal. Um, yeah, I, I mean, if that's if that's the real figure right now that that's being reported, then I can see Odson Edward being a Brighton player by the end of the week. Um, I'm not going to say anything about his ambition. Of course, we know the Premier League is the place to be at the moment. You're seeing loads of uh, players jumping ship, even from Spain's big two or three, Real Madrid, Barcelona. Um, so every player is going to the Premier League at the moment. It's a massive, massive league. It's it's looking set to be like the Serie A was back in the 90s. Everybody's going there um, at the moment. Um, so yeah, he'll probably go there with the ambition, you know, do a good couple of years. He's still pretty young, 23, do a good couple of years and then try and get another move. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to slag his ambition. Of course, it's about money and not the size of the club, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, guys, that is that is it pretty much. Odson Edouard, £21.5 million. Uh, we'll keep following this story along. Uh, get me your thoughts and opinions down there. Uh, Celtic fans, Rangers fans, uh, let me know what your thoughts are on this transfer saga. I'm sure a lot of fans are happy to just see the end of it. Of course, losing a great player. However, just moving forward in the right direction, try and bring in and reinvest the money into, into some younger talent or players that actually want to be there at the club.
Uh, but guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please do like and subscribe for more Scottish football content. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace.